you folks are making big announcements. So talk about uh, what you folks are announcing. Yeah, so vCluster private notes is really just a starting point. Uh, the other exciting announcement we're making is vCluster auto notes. Auto notes is our take on a managed solution for Carpenter. Um, you know, obviously AWS started the Carpenter open source project. It's an amazing open source project. It allows you to, you know, give it different types of, you know, virtual machines, for example, EC2 instances in AWS, Azure VMs, right? If you are uh, in AKS and, you know, these cloud providers have baked Carpenter into their offerings and they allow you to, you know, get the right sized VMs for your workloads. So let's say you have, you know, some big workloads and a bunch of small workloads, right? Carpenter would make the most cost-effective decision on how to bin pack things on different nodes. It would say, oh, give me one of these nodes and two of these smaller nodes and then one extra large node here. And I want to join all these nodes in my cluster because that maximizes serialization and reduces cost overall. That's really what Carpenter does really well in the, in the public cloud. So now what we're doing is we're baking Carpenter directly into vCluster. So it comes batteries loaded, it's super easy to configure, and it works in any environment. And that's the novelty here. Because Carpenter so far has been adopted in EKS predominantly, since obviously EKS uh, or the AWS team uh, open sourced Carpenter. And AKS has also uh, you know, integrated Carpenter uh, into their managed Kubernetes offering. But we're bringing you know, Carpenter pretty much in any environment, including the private cloud, including bare metal. And I think that's really exciting. So wherever a vCluster runs, whether that's the public cloud or the private cloud or bare metal, you can give it the connection to you know, any kind of nodes that or node types that are available, and it will automatically mount the right private nodes into um, your virtual cluster to create the most efficient Kubernetes cluster possible. So far, we are building essentially on a couple of different what we call node providers. The first one is uh, Terraform. Terraform is, uh, you know, by extension, open tofu. We're, we're supporting both flavors here. So whether you run Terraform Enterprise or you're running, you know, open source, uh, open tofu, um, both works uh, with us. We are just using the HCL uh, definition here effectively. Um, and you can provision any node that you can provision with Terraform, which is great because there are Terraform providers, obviously, for all the major public clouds, even for niche cloud providers, right? Tier two, tier three cloud providers. There's always a Terraform provider for any of these public cloud environments. But even in a private cloud, right, there is Terraform providers for OpenStack, for example, for Metal as a Service from Ubuntu, uh, from Canonical, right? So pretty much all of these environments can be covered. And with private nodes uh, and auto nodes, you can now join them directly into your vCluster. And it also can configure the networks like VPCs, VPNs, right? Um, pretty much anything you can define in Terraform, you can also spin up as part of auto nodes. Besides the Terraform Open Tofu provider, we also added quick starts for the for the major public clouds. So if you just want to have a setup in you know AWS, Google Cloud, or Azure, it really takes a click. We automatically set up things for you, um, and then you can fork our you know uh, Terraform quick start repositories and customize them to your needs. But we'll give you a resilient starting point that's really really easy uh, for any of the major public clouds to get that true auto scaling experience with Carpenter out of the box with the cluster. The other exciting thing we integrated is KubeVirt. So if you're in the private cloud and you have a set of bare metal machines, you know, sometimes it's great to just take a bare metal machine and join that into uh, your vCluster as a, as a private node. And, you know, auto nodes does it automatically. But sometimes your workloads aren't always that big. Your clusters are relatively small. You know, so a slice of a bare metal machine may be sufficient for you. So we integrated KubeVirt so that we can automatically with KubeVirt create virtual machines on top of uh, your bare metal uh, machines with KVM. And then we effectively uh, get you a slice of that bare metal machine as a virtual machine, join that into your vCluster as a private node. And last but not least, we also integrated NVIDIA's BCM. Uh, which is essentially the node provider in NVIDIA's flagship product, the SuperPod and BasePod, et cetera, right? So if you're running DGX systems by NVIDIA, 
you're most likely going to operate BCM, which is the tool that equips the nodes with the operating system, right? DGXOS, uh, it pixie boots these nodes. And since we directly integrate with BCM, we can also spin up these nodes. We can configure the network. There's a bunch of network providers that we're starting to integrate with. Um, and last but not least, since you know that Terraform provider concept is available, you could technically write your own Terraform or OpenTofu uh, provider and customize it completely to your needs. So what we ship with our you know Carpenter Auto Nodes um, integration here is really something incredibly flexible. And it works not just in the public cloud, it works in the private cloud and even in hybrid scenarios. So you could, for example, say, I have this, you know, I have this uh, set of DGX nodes with GPUs, and then I have these bare metal CPU nodes. And additionally, I want overcapacity from AWS EC2 instances. You can give all of this to auto nodes and auto nodes will configure the most effective cluster for you, right? The most cost effective cluster. So it will essentially say, okay, GPU nodes go on my DGX systems, but if there's no capacity available, I can take EC2 instances to a certain degree and get GPUs from AWS to augment, you know, what's available in my private cloud. And then on the CPU nodes, it could say, I'm going to take a bare metal CPU node, joining it in for a very large workload. And then for a very small workload, I'm carving out a slice of a bare metal machine with Kubeword launcher VM on there. Uh, so it's an incredibly flexible system. It's super, super powerful. We really want the most optimized Kubernetes cluster possible in any environment, even across different environments. And we even wire up the networking. We essentially spin up a VPN automatically between the nodes in different environments so they can securely communicate with each other. It's an incredibly powerful technology. I encourage everybody to take a look at it.